So in this video, we're going to review the nature of science and some important vocabulary words and how we apply them. So first we have um, observations versus inferences. So it's important to remember that an observation is directly something that you see, taste, touch, hear, or smell. It is your five senses. So in this um, experiment here, let's pretend the researcher planted three trees. So you have tree number one, uh, and then you have tree number two, sorry, one, two, and three. And they are all planted at different distances from this window. So my observations would be um, basically like this tree is maybe um, three feet high, tree number two is one foot high, and tree number three is six inches high. So those are some things that I can directly see and observe. Now, for an inference is when you use prior knowledge to draw conclusions. So here I might be looking at this and I see my observation is that, wow, tree number one is taller. Now my inference is, oh, maybe it's because it's closer to the light. So inferences are when you can go ahead and make some guesses based on what you already know in life um, to kind of come to some conclusions. Now these inferences are really what you're gonna turn into um, like your experimental design, like your prediction and your hypothesis and stuff. So here, um, we wanna clear up the difference between predictions and hypotheses. So when I look at what a prediction is, a prediction is like uh, making a statement about something that will occur. So here, if I wanted to set up an experiment testing, maybe I'm curious, so my overall question, I guess I should have typed that in, my question is, how does light affect plant growth, right? Like, is that my, my big overarching question here that's gonna guide my design and my experiment? So my prediction would sound something like, if I plant a tree near light, it will grow better. Now here, I'm just saying what I think is gonna happen. That is a prediction. Um, but a hypothesis, a hypothesis is an explanation that you can test. So, um, now if I want to write, sorry, an explanation that you can test. So my hypothesis is, if I plant a tree near light, then it will grow better because plants use light to power photosynthesis. Now I've included my explanation, like to my, my prediction. Like I included the why I think that, like I've explained myself. Um, and so here I can design an experiment to test my hypothesis. I can put the plants at different distances from light and then observe how they grow. So now let's go ahead and see how we can turn this into an experiment. So there's three different types of variables that we need to be aware of. We have independent variables, dependent variables, as well as controlled or constants as variables. So an in independent variable is going to be what you will change in an experiment. So in this example here, my independent variable, since I'm curious, well, how does light affect plant growth? Well, as the researcher, I'm gonna change the different amounts of light. So here, my different amounts of light um, would be my independent variable. So plant three over here is getting the least amount. Now my dependent variable is what I observe or what I measure. So uh, what data am I going to gather here? I'm going to measure the height of the plants because I'm curious how does light affect plant growth. So the height of each plant would be my dependent variable. And then my controlled or my constants um, are the factors I keep the same. So in this example here, things that I want to keep all the same is basically everything except for the distance. So I want to make sure the amount of soil they receive, the nutrients in the soil, I water them all exactly the same. I'm using the same type of plant, so I know they all grow at the same like rate. I'm going to use the same size of pot, etc. Anything that could influence your results besides light, you want to keep the same. Because let's pretend that I forgot to water plant number three. Well then, how do I know? Is it because lack of water or is it because lack of light? 
right? You only want to change one variable. Now, some key things to keep in mind when doing an experiment is right here, I only have three plants. It would be better if I had a lot of plants, like a lot lined up near the um, window, and then a lot of plant number two distance, and then a lot of plant number three distance. Because the larger your sample size, the more accurate your data, the more reliable it is. Kind of like reviews on Amazon. The more reviews something has, the more accurate uh, that feedback is. So you want to have a large sample size and then to be good for repeatability. Do the experiment again and repeat it over and over and then you have nice solid uh, conclusions that you can draw based on your data.